In my first build, I used a PSP 1000 analog stick. They work pretty well. It's not very fancy. It's easy to wire to though. There's four pads on the back. Just solder to those and you're good to go. Well, I want to try and upgrade it this time and use uh, the PSP one or uh, the PS Vita analog stick. This ribbon cable though is going to make it a little bit more difficult. And I think there are uh, like breakout boards you can get. But I'm going to try to avoid that. So we can just use this connector. Some tiny little 34 gauge magnet wire and avoid that uh, breakout board. That thing wouldn't be too difficult, it's very small anyway, but I think I can do it like this. And this ribbon cable, <laughs> ribbon cable, it comes with uh, two little tabs on the side. I already clipped these off. Otherwise it's not gonna fit. So, this connector has six pins. And this ribbon cable actually has six spaces, but only four uh, connections. So we're going to skip that top one. So this pin is going to be empty. And we're going to skip the second from the bottom. So that pin will be empty. And to remember which pin is what, I'm just going to mark this side to know that I'm going to go, I'm going to skip the second one from this side. So with this magnet wire, it comes with a coating. And I just melt it up using solder. A little bit of flux. A little bit of solder. And it just melts away. And I'm gonna put a little bit of solder on these pins. So small it's hard to not bridge bridge them. That's all right. I have this magic solder sucker. Just heat it up. Solder magically disappears. All right. This pin on the outside we're gonna skip. I'm gonna go for the second one. So I'm not gonna do anything other than solder this. Probably to those outside too since the outside one doesn't matter anyway. So don't have to be too careful. Now, I tried to do this without using captain tape and I just couldn't do it. I made a big mess. It's too small. Maybe someone out there Maybe most people can solder better than me, I don't know. But I'm just going to put this between the pins so I don't desolder that one while working on the next one. I don't really need much solder on the tip of my solder iron because I left a little bit on the, the end of the wire. So, let's see.
Now that's the last one. I'm gonna skip the second to the last. So I'm not gonna have to be too careful. I can just wire to the, la the last one. So we have skipped. One, two, three, skipped, and the last one, good. The way this connection works is the top connection is Y, the next one is X, Next one is ground, and the next one is uh, bolts. So, power. Here I'm just going to check the resistance on these before we pretty it up. So this is the y-axis. And it's reading well. And I'm going to leave that connected to the y-axis. We're going to change from power to ground to make sure that's hooked up. Should read the same, just in reverse. And it does. And now let's check X. And that's reading well. So it looks ugly, but it works. So we're going to make a little ribbon cable. Put a little dab of hot glue to protect the connections. Keep them separate. That'll do it. I'll test it one more time to make sure that it still didn't mess anything up when cleaning it up. And analog sticks for version two. Looks like it'll work.